guys, so there was some interest um, about my juicing, so I just wanted to make a short video about what I do every morning and the veggies I use and some of the benefits of those veggies. So, um, I know it looks like a lot of veggies that I've got going on here, but it doesn't make a huge amount of juice. Um, every you know, every veggie makes a slightly different amount of juice, and you kind of learn which one makes the most um, as you start to juice. So, um, I like to start with things that are uh, have less fiber in them because it makes it so that it's a lot easier to, um, it goes through a lot easier. Um, if you're juicing a lot of stuff, you know, you want to make sure that everything can go through the correct way. Um, so I just start with the least fibrous stuff and work my way from there. colorful. Um, when I have less time in the mornings, I will just juice, you know, one or two things. Usually those are, you know, carrots and celery, honestly. I love juicing just carrots and celery. Um, you get pretty used to the flavor of it. Um, and adding, surprisingly, adding a lemon um, really cuts the rough flavor. Lemons make juice delicious. All right, so I have a lot more time today, so I'm adding a lot more fruits and veggies into this one, um, as you can see. So something to think about when you're buying juice uh, or buying, buying fruits to juice or veggies to juice is the cost versus how much juice they make. So cabbage is cheap, doesn't make very much juice, so um, that's okay. But things like strawberries are expensive and they also don't make very much juice. So kind of something to think about when you're looking at what you're going to buy and the money that you're going to spend. Um, which is why most of the time I juice celery and carrots because both of those things are super duper cheap and they make a good amount of juice. Um, so I'm adding some turmeric that I found at the Olympia Food Co-op and some ginger as well. So turmeric reduces inflammation and um, if you are on your period or if you um, just experience a lot of pain daily, you might want to consider juicing turmeric. Awesome. So 
we'll see. Maybe I can experiment with that a little bit. So, obviously juice is going to be a lot sweeter if you add more fruits. Um, but surprisingly, some veggies are way sweeter than you would really have thought. Like carrots. Carrots are super duper sweet, which I would not have thought because I usually just dip them in ranch. So, um, another really sweet one is beets. So I recently just found beets a few days ago and discovered that they are awesome to juice. And they make the juice a really dark, awesome purple color. So that's also pretty cool. spits out the juice there. There's another type of juicer though called a centrifugal juicer and you throw all your veggies in and it has a big blade in it and all the pulp goes to the edges and the juice goes down the center. Now that kind of juicer is you know really great for if you're worried about how time consuming juicing can be which can be a little time consuming to you know wait for it to go through this little this process here but um, Doing a lot of research, I have found that people say that masticating juicers are a little healthier. They, um, they introduce less air into the juice. That's just what they say, I guess. So I always do carrots last because they have a lot of fiber in them and they tend to uh, begin to block up the, uh, the little drainage that the uh, juicer has to go through. hydration. Um, if you were to stick just a stick of celery into a cup of like blue water or whatever, um, you would find that pretty quickly the blue has come up to the top. It's, I don't remember how fast exactly it, it happens, but it is a pretty fast process. But you just have to think about what is that doing in your body I mean, it's, it's basically doing the same thing. It helps with hydration and all that good stuff. Um, beets, why I have started adding beets into all of my, um, all of my juices is because beets are super, um, they're called vasodilators. Uh, basically, it makes your veins and everything a little bit wider so that you can get oxygen to your body better. Athletes use them, drink them, eat them, all that good stuff. Um, and then carrots, another one of my favorite ingredients, super good for your skin, which is the main reason that I started juicing in the first place, is to try to improve my skin and, you know, quality of life and all that jazz. So if you guys have any questions about the stuff I'm using, um, I also like to put in a little teaspoon of maca powder at the very end. Um, really good for energy and uh, a few other things, balances your hormones. Um, but yeah, any questions, let me know and I'd love to do my best to answer them. See you later! <laughs>